I'm Brittany, and this is Drew. And for the past five years, we've been traveling the world by van. And we just recently finished building Spirit, our fifth van home and first ever conversion. Subscribe, and we look forward to sharing where this unpredictable adventure takes us all. Oh, California, how will we ever leave you? I wonder this every single time. Since leaving our friends in San Francisco, we've been making our way up the incredible NorCal coast. It has been absolutely freaking gorgeous. It is absolutely stunning. It reminds us so much of Portugal. We even saw a beach called Portuguese Beach. Something magical Pretending that nobody knows Trying to hide but it shows Lost my sense of logical Think that I'm gonna explode Echoes inside of my bones And wait till you see what we're walking up to right now Take a look at this Sea Ranch Chapel Look at this place Reminds me of Robin Hood's hat it is like Robin Hood's hat. Wow, you can see the other stained glass from the inside. Look at the swoop and the pattern. Yeah. Right there. Let's go inside. When I think about yesterday oh. My, oh my My, oh my, a kiss, and so I did. Well, that was special. Now that we basically know what it looks like inside of a seashell, we can continue our way north. We have a few hundred more miles until we make our way where we're going next. So get your hiking shoes ready because we have an epic adventure in store. And if you probably couldn't tell from the title of this video, it's gonna be good. Whoa! Where are we? Oh my gosh! It's like the hairpin turns of Norway. Oh my goodness! Who knew? Out there. See the Guys, this is seriously reminding us of England right now. So much. We spent the night at a lighthouse in Wales. Pretty sure we're going to the same lighthouse right now. And just big open expanses. There's even sheep. We saw sheep earlier even. Right over there. And this is our amazing home. Oh my. My, oh my. This was just a lucky find. It's not on any of the apps. You had no service. Good night, everyone. See you on the road. You see all that? That's all glass. Well, not all of it, but there's a lot of glass mixed into the sand. This is called Glass Beach. But apparently, tourists come and take big bags of it away, so. Unfortunately, a lot of the bigger pieces are gone, but it's still pretty beautiful. Drew's listening to a podcast. We happen to find, like, the most beautiful tree house ever, and you can go inside of it. This tree is 4,000 years old, struck by lightning 300 times, she said. Whoa, there it is. You enter through the little gift shop here. $2 per person. Whoa. Are you coming? I gotta wait for you. <laughs> Whoa. I did not expect to look into it. Yeah, I got hit with lightning. Oh, that's why it's hollow then. Yeah. Sink down, O oh traveler, on your knees. God stands before you in these trees. Hmm. Look what I got for a quarter. Where can you get all that for a quarter these days? Not a lot of places. This is what's inside a tree. 
like the prettiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hiking through Redwood National Park and admiring these gentle giants that we actually built straight into our home. The old growth redwood fence that we turned into our ceiling is the same kind of tree. lunch stop at the crazy Norwegian, the number two best fish spot along the west coast, which is wild because it's in this tiny little town which we've never heard of. Beautiful sunny day here in Oregon. You're actually not even allowed to pump your own gas here, right? Like you can't. Nope, they do it for you. It's the best. <laughs> it feels it, so luxurious. It definitely feels like you're in a new state when you cross from California to Oregon and you have them pumping your gas. It actually feels like you're in an old time movie, yeah. doesn't it? It feels really cool. It's like I, they should be on roller skates. It's a nice way that they keep jobs in the state. We made it. Yep, you made it. We're here just outside of Portland and tomorrow is a very big day. A very big one. We're going on a big adventure. <laughs> We've tried recording this multiple times, but Drew can't seem to have the enthusiasm that I would like him to have. So, tomorrow we're summiting Mount St. Helens. Oh, that's what we're doing. <laughs> the infamous volcano that erupted on May 18th, 1980 and blew about 1,500 feet off of the summit. That was my line. Well, you haven't been very good at this, so I'm taking over. <laughs> we will have 4,500 feet to climb and roughly four to five miles to make it up to the rim of the crater. So it's quite a hefty hike, about nine miles round trip. It should take about all day. And we actually had permits to summit Mount St. Helens two years ago on the anniversary of her eruption. But unfortunately, we weren't able to do it then. And this time we got lucky enough to get permits but we weren't lucky enough to have the weather that was scheduled for last time. Last time it was such a beautiful, crisp, clear day, perfect temperature, and you, Blue skies. you could have seen for miles. And tomorrow... There's snow all over that ravine. Oh man. I think this is more snow than we could have expected. This is June. <laughs> it is snowing in June. Seriously snowing. Yeah. Oh. But we got our crampons. I think we're going to attempt it anyway. We're going to go talk to some people around the base and find out what the consensus is from other people who will be doing the hike or have yeah. just done it. Good call. Mount St. Helens, we're going to at least see you up close and really hope that we get to see you from the top. All right. Let's go, guys, and let's hope for the best because we really want to do this hike. <laughs> if we're really lucky, we'll be above the clouds. We'll see if that Ooh. happens because that would be magical and then it's just like heavenly when you're at the summit and the <sighs> light would be dropping down into the crater and we get crisp, clear viewing. We would just have to push through the clouds and the rain and all of that at the beginning, early in the morning. Yeah, I do yeah. expect there to be snow up there. All right, well, again, let's hope for the best. Let's see what's in the store. Close to the approach in the foothills of Mount St. Helens, blue skies over here, but up ahead we have quite a thick collection of gray clouds forming. One mile away from Climber's Bivouac, which is where we'll be sleeping tonight and where we'll be starting the hike from tomorrow. It's been a pretty rough road the last couple miles. We're on gravel making the trek up here. We're here at the Climber's Bivouac. I've been gathering my pile of my layers of clothing for tomorrow. And it just started raining. Oh, you just got back from your excursion? I did. They actually said it's unexpectedly nice weather tomorrow. Are you serious? Yeah, they said it'll actually be sunk in with clouds down here during the morning hours. Oh my gosh. And as we get higher, we should be above the cloud coverage. So said it'll be very chilly up there. It's gonna be like maybe 10 degrees. There'll be 10 to 20 mile an hour winds. Yeah. I'm like 10 degrees, but unexpectedly nice weather. Yeah. 
answered prayers. Totally. And look, Sue, the lady, she let me borrow her gloves for you. Really? Yeah. Do we get to give them back to her? Of course, tomorrow afternoon. Oh, what a sweet lady. <laughs> look at this pile. I have this pile of my clothes for tomorrow. <laughs> we better dress super warm, and it's actually starting to rain out here right now. So... We're going to get the van parked, I'm going to pay the fee so we can stay camped up here, and we'll get an early start. Answered prayers, gloves, sunshine, the cold weather is a yeah. thing, but you know what, it's a challenge I guess I'm supposed to meet. It won't be a day for shorts tomorrow, that's a definite shirt. Get inside, you're getting wet. I know, i got to go pay the fee. <laughs> oh, okay, All right. okay. Luckily I'm able to purchase a pass right here at the trailhead. Brittany can't even handle this weather. <laughs> cold is my arch nemesis. All right, let's get cozy. Let Yay. me go park the van. I'll make us something warm and fueling for dinner. Perfect. <laughs> this is the scene right now. Things are looking good. Dinner is about ready. This is literally everything that I'm wearing tomorrow morning. There's like doubles of everything. And up here, Mr. Adventure is preparing our hiking poles. The 90 degree angle at the elbow. Elbow locked in. Got the rain gear. There it is. My bag's up on the front seat too. I'm gonna have three pairs of pants, heavy duty socks, multiple layers, a little neck thing, and a hat. Tomorrow's a very big day. We haven't had a big adventure like this in a really long time. We're gonna say good night. Good night, guys. We'll see you in about seven hours. See ya. Peace. Good night. Come on, babe, it's time. Good morning. <laughs> Alarm number two. <laughs> we heard it raining all night. You like my rain pants? <laughs> but I tucked in my sleeve. You look like sand on a good day. The rain is coming down. <laughs> What time is it even? It's like 6... 6.30. Okay. We also realized that we each thought that the other downloaded a map or a trail of sorts, but that didn't really happen. Although Drew, luckily, updated his maps.me app, so somehow we have something to work with. We do. <laughs> There's a little bit of ray of sunshine out there. Oh, yeah. Right. Signing in with our permit numbers and leaving a trail so that... They know estimated time of when we'll arrive back. Vehicle make model color. Spirit. <laughs> and luckily the daily avalanche forecast states that there are no avalanches. You go from here to here? Yep. Let's do it. Right, let's do it. Yeah. <sighs> Summit of Mount St. Helens, four miles. Not bad. A lot of people describe this as a stair climb, so. Oh. <laughs> And Brittany just read that there was snow up there overnight on the weather forecast. This is the only day that said snow this yeah. morning, and it was negative 11. Sunshine. The start. There, and now we're here. Almost at a big junction, and soon enough, here we go. The lava dome. No, 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 no. Cool. The ground is covered in frost. <laughs> yeah, and it's snowing. Look at the ridge, it's just covered. Saw some people coming up the trail. None of them made it to the summit. They said it was 40 mile an hour winds, right? They said it was absolute whiteout. Just really hoping we can see into the rim of the crater. Look, there's blue sky. Blue skies. Taking you with us to the top, <laughs> right? Right? Brittany's having her breakfast before we make it above the tree line. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to take shelter. Is this really June? Oh my gosh, it's disgusting. <laughs> it's horrible. Did you guys, or girls, make it to the top? Did not. Did you no. start last night? No. We started at like 5.30. 5.30? Okay. Yeah. We only got to, what was it, 58 or 57? About to what we're seeing. Yeah. It just yeah, is just really, really windy. Ah. Like, do you guys have extra gloves? Hand stuff? 
our hands got full. Yeah. yeah. That's what we're scared of, and that's why we left our pole. Did you guys make it? We got to the ice fields, and then we just came around just because we got cold. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. Can you believe that this time last week we were on the beach? Look at this. We haven't met anyone who's made it to the top yet, but the last two guys were pretty promising. They said at least two more hours to the radar tower, and it's clearing up now. They said it's a lot calmer. The sky's a little bit bluer. Everybody said they've made it up a couple more ridges, and it's been their hands that are freezing. We're a little weak in the glove department, but we have hand warmers, <laughs> which are the secret hack, and we decided to leave our poles yeah. down at the base of this lava field. Because otherwise they're just exposed, getting soaked, yeah. and no. So we have to be able to let our hands survive if we're going to continue. There's definitely strategy to this hike today. We followed what Drew would do. But it was your idea. <laughs> Pack that layer up. Get in there. Soon enough we're gonna be above these clouds. to the radar tower. There's only two people on the mountain ahead of us. They haven't come back down so it's a good sign. It's clearing up. This is an exceptional sign of how windy and how crazy the elements were just before we got up here. <laughs> Look at this rebarb and the ice just like oh. <laughs> well the pattern of it was stuck only on one side that it was blowing the wind and snow ice going totally horizontal. <sighs> kind of getting a glimpse and clearing of what we're about to go through but Pretty much everything we're working with is like this, and you slide, the snowpack's helping. Lots of water. I'm like hot and then I'm cold. Yeah. I'm not complaining though. I would guess we're at like 7,500 foot right now. We have not looked at our watches or clock once, so we don't even know how long we've been doing this. Guys, we can see the rim. <laughs> It couldn't be any stiller. Yeah, it's like <sighs> calm. All right, upwards. Oh man, what a hike. We couldn't have it without you because your footprints. Great job, guys. We saw two dudes come down and they were High like, five. um, they're like, the radar. yeah, they ice axe and they were like, oh, they're like, you're gonna field. need that, yeah. <laughs> we're looking down into it. Oh, they up. Look at oh, this. Yeah, enjoy it. Wow, right down into it. Check it out. said they got a nice couple of clearings, but we got this in Mount Rainier, which was definitely a highlight. We just don't want the wind and snow to come back and cover over all the tracks that we're going to follow. Hopefully you can hear this. Ah! We really did it! We really did it! Ah, <sighs> such a good feeling. And now I think it's time to go down. <sighs> it's getting pretty white out here. <laughs> yeah, the clouds have kind of floated up to our level. Yeah. <sighs> you can barely see the rim over here. But the wind is calm in this moment. <laughs> We just got bundled back up, so. All right. We, go. we did it. <laughs> Feels so good. Ah. We can have fun, yeah. Don't need no money. And we can be brilliant without millions. Baby, it ain't no proof. Wanna come over? Wanna get moving? Moving. Ah, 
uh, right where we left them. Thank you. Oh my oh, God. We're back to the start. All right, let's sign in. It's 4 p.m. Wow, we made it. <laughs> wow, it was so worth it. I'm excited to get warm, go park somewhere pretty, and snuggle up. We'll see you once we get cozy. All right, guys. What's up? We're feeling definitely wiped out. I got some <sighs> tea here. I'm in my PJs. It's five o'clock now. Yeah. We're relocating the van to a new home. This is where we slept last night. It was so peaceful. It took us five and a half hours to get to the top. It took us four hours to get to the bottom. Yep. It was a total of eight miles. And how many feet in elevation gain? About 4,500. Reindeer yeah. was by far the best because we weren't soaked when we came back. Yes. And I think that would have just been bone chilling throughout the whole journey. And that's why I think everyone else who was uh, ahead of us had to turn around. They just got soaked through. From the side, it's like whipping in your face and just like blowing you and making you feel unstable. So, we got blessed. We yeah. were definitely blessed. We just did it at the perfect yeah. window. We saw the last bit of clarity that we could see right yeah. here. We've heard a lot of people come down since we've gotten back. Nobody's been able to see in there. Norway had us prepared like none other. I honestly thought this hike wasn't that bad. Yeah. Definitely felt prepared in terms of what we were capable of, what kind of weather we could endure. Standing on top of Norway. This is the view over every single peak around us. Possibly one of the most beautiful peaks we've ever been on. This hike reminded me of that, but anyway. And on top of that, we're gonna go to the visitor center. It's the day after our hike, and we made it to the visitor center. Babe, where is this? The Johnson Ridge Observatory. And it's incredible, look at this. Interactive display of Mount St. Helens eruption with Mount St. Helens in the background. Although she's pretty sunken in with clouds right now. Right on that ridge. That's the ridge we were standing on. Wow. I am just stoked we made it to the top knowing how many yes. people turned around ahead of us. Oh, we made it to the top. You guys were there with us, <laughs> which was crazy. Like, yeah. we actually did it. There's a lot more adventure to come. Thank you for letting us share this journey with you guys. I think we're out now. All right, guys. Later. Peace.